Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Baron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Sounds like you know him personally. Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Sounds like an old pickup line. But it really has, hasn't it? I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? I genuinely don't know how people like that can live with themselves. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, the Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? That's a chilling thought. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh, maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. You talk and get paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. What was your role in that? Sounds like maybe you're being modest. Security isn't exactly trained for that scenario, but all right. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Mm, pure instinct, huh? It sounds like New Atlantis, heck the whole UC, owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around mouthful. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. You have another story for me? You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? I'd say I'm surprised, but this is my total lack of surprise face. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? I can't say I blame him. Armed robbers don't deserve much mercy in my book. These things are often... messy. Any customers or Galbank staff get hurt? That's really good news. Usually... well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. 
Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. My source is back. Here to report anything else? I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. But she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? Well then, let's continue, Mr. Not Really Relevant. Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. What was your impression of him? I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen, but everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Artifact, you say? I've been hearing whispers about those lately. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the news feed for it later. And here's your payment. If you have a news story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Bad blood between the fabled constellation and the Crimson Fleet? Has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office! Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I swear you're either a trouble magnet or something. So... Sista finally, and against all odds, really triumphed against the Crimson Fleet. In their own backyard, no less. How were you involved? Directly with him? I got that right? Wow. Okay. So, the Vigilance went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything the Crimson Fleet could throw at them. And somehow, Almost miraculously, they captured the key. The key itself. I've confirmed that with many sources. Anything to add? Someone seriously owes you a beer. Hell, a keg. You have to feel good about how everything turned out. Commander Ikande is being hailed a hero. And Sisdef's popularity is at an all-time high. Your thoughts? Mm, the UC did kind of spawn this monster. And like you said, it might finally be dealt with. And that's all I need. You really do lead an extraordinary life. And as a, well, possibly embarrassing personal note, thank God for you. When you first walked into my office, I had no idea you would be at the center of so much. 
And I get the feeling you're not sharing everything. Indeed you have. I talked with the editor, and he authorized a special bonus for someone who's worked with us so long. And maybe one day, years from now, you can fill me in on the stories you didn't want broadcast. Take care, Constellation. Your stories are a big hit. You lead a, well, an amazing life. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. Would you really? I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zaran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Medbay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. A reporter. Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I'm gonna be a big time space pilot. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Oh, it's nice to see a fresh face around here. 
I've got limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has. And I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. story you have that look in your eye what's the scoop hey that's great thanks so much did everything go all right glad to hear it I'm looking forward to reading through your notes I can't thank you enough for helping me out I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published <laughs> there's nothing like seeing your name in print Back to the grind. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. No shortage of hungry mouths like to feed around here. And I don't take any shakes. Just on our toes. Anything else? If you haven't, make sure you say hello to Mama. She likes checking in with everyone. Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. They sure looked suspicious to me. They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. 
I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. If anyone's going to handle them, it should be security. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. Stay as long as you like. And don't be a stranger. I don't know, Isaac. It seems like a tough joint to crack. Nah, that's just what they want you to think, Louis. You see, you see security around here? No, but... But nothing. I say we strike while the iron's hot. I got a feeling that goody two-shoes at Case Place is gonna rat us out. She was giving us some serious side-eye last time we were in there. See? No time like the present. We'll do it tonight. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. Don't take it personal if I don't stop to chat. Lots to do, not nearly enough hands to do it all. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? Full space suit. Something I can help you with? Whew. What I wouldn't give to be stationed in the Embassy District. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? The UC surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That's an ease of mind. Those thieves won't be so cocky with the security on patrol. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? I knew I could count on him. He always handles this kind of thing fairly. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. If you need patching up, we'll see what we can do. Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the medbay unattended. They're always about a moment to
The majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slave. Please, pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. I help out Henry from time to time. Not very often these days. But that's fine. Oh, Henry is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Unfortunately, I'm quite old-fashioned. I only deal with associates that I know and trust. But, if you do a small favor for me, I might feel comfortable opening my business up to you. All you need to do is pick up a package from Red Mile and deliver it to me. You don't even need to interact with anyone. Fantastic! I eagerly await your return. Stay out of trouble.
overview from here.
I can't open my doors to just anyone. I'm sure you understand. Ah, excellent. I see you've held up your end of the bargain. So, I'll do the same. Salina's hardware is now open for business. I'll unlock the door for you. Feel free to come around and peruse my wares anytime. Asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't want any Terramore storming through here. Anything I can help you with? Sure, have at it.